so what we just saw here was adenosine 12 milligrams IV push ordered for SVT. And a lot of nurses get nervous here, which makes sense. I wanna break this down for you in a way that actually feels logical. So adenosine is used for stable supraventricular tachycardia or SVT because it targets the AV node. Most SVTs rely on that AV node to keep the rhythm going. So when adenosine temporarily blocks conduction through that node, it will actually interrupt the re-entry circuit that's causing the tachycardia. I want you to think of it as briefly pressing pause so so the heart can then restart in a normal rhythm. On the monitor, I know this can look dramatic. You will see a brief flat line and this is expected. Adenosine has an extremely short half-life, only a few seconds, so the effect is brief. The heart almost always will resume to a normal rhythm quickly, which is why continuous cardiac monitoring is required. But remember, prolonged asystole is obviously not expected. Because adenosine is cleared so fast, how you give it matters. It needs to be pushed rapidly through a large bore IV, ideally as close to the heart as possible, and then it's followed immediately by a rapid saline flush just to get that medication to the heart as quick as possible. If it's pushed slowly or through a poor IV, the drug can actually be metabolized before it ever even reaches the AV node, and it's simply not going to work. Now, patient education here is just as important as the medication itself. Before pushing adenosine, you should always warn the patient that they may feel sudden chest pressure, flushing, shortness of breath, dizziness, or even a feeling of impending doom. These sensations are all obviously uncomfortable, but they are short-lived, and explaining this ahead of time can significantly reduce panic for the patient. If you want a simple, nurse-friendly SVT and emergency medication cheat sheet to help this stuff stick, comment adenosine down below on my Instagram video, and I will send that right to your DMs.